In this video, I'm going to show you how to make holographic printable vinyl stickers using Cricut's print then cut feature. So let's dive in. The first thing you need is some holographic printable vinyl. This can be for laser or inkjet printers. You're also going to need a laptop and Cricut design space. Um, you're also going to want a hooked weeding tool. This will come in handy and an inkjet or laser printer. We're using an HP DeskJet 3755 and a Cricut machine. We are using our Explore Air 2. It's optional, but you can also laminate your stickers. So the first thing you're gonna do is create a new design in Canva. I am creating an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet because that is the size of the printable vinyl. And you're, you can look on Canva and see what type of graphics you like. And so I just picked one that was cute and cool and I ended up going with these ghosts with glasses and I aligned them, I changed the size and made sure they looked good for printing and then I hit that little share button and down there we can see that we can download these. You want to download them as a PNG file on a transparent background. This is very important so that you can get the correct print and cut file that you can upload into Cricut Design Space. So clicking on new project in Cricut Design Space, once you've downloaded those stickers, then you can upload that image. You can see some previous images we've worked with here. But we're going to hit upload image and that image we just downloaded from Canva is what we're going to look for and there it is right there. We're going to hit open and it is going to upload that into design space. So we have three options and we're going to want to go with simple um, so that it cuts out the simple shape and doesn't mess anything up. In the bottom right you can't see but I clicked continue. We can remove the background if that's an issue. Um, but in this case, it was okay. So we're going to hit continue again, and we have two options. We can either cut the image or we can print then cut. And this is a print then cut tutorial. So that is what we are going with here. We are first going to have to print that design out through design space, and then we're going to cut it out with our Cricut machine. So I selected that new design of those cool ghosts with glasses. Um, and then I uploaded it into this project. It said it was low resolution, so uh, you might want to up the pixel size on your PNG images, but it actually ended up looking okay. So I hit make, and I wanted to save the project in case something went wrong, and so I titled it Cute Ghosts and clicked save. Now, moving on, we now see what the print then cut feature will look like when we stick this holographic printable vinyl onto our Cricut mat. So everything looks good and we are going to go to the next step which is to send to printer and we can connect to our Cricut machine. So I clicked send to printer. I double checked. Yes, that's the correct printer. All these settings are correct. One copy and then I hit print. So next it ended up printing out beautifully on our inkjet printer. This is Royal Elements Holographic Printable Vinyl if you want to check us out. We have a store on Amazon and our website. But this is what it looked like. And then I stuck it on the Cricut mat. Now this is very important. I had to put matte tape and I used a Sharpie to um, put tape over those cut lines. As you can see, uh, with holographic or any glossy vinyl, the reflective nature of that material makes it very difficult for Cricut or a silhouette machine to read those cut lines. And so what I needed to do is put matte tape over them and then retrace them so they really pop and they don't have any airs or glare. So stick it into our Explore Air 2. We're going to hit the little button to push it in with the arrow and then the Cricut button to let the Cricut machine do its magic. So right here, it read the cut lines perfectly. There were no issues. And then it cut out the shapes nice and smoothly for all 12 of our friendly ghosts here. So this is what the process looks like for the cutting. You can just wait and watch uh, as this goes on. 
and it only takes a couple of minutes. So here we're done. I am going to remove the mat, pull it out, and I just took a quick glance at our holographic vinyl and it looks great. So next we are using that weeding tool I mentioned earlier. This is so that I can rip up the backing and the sticker of the printable vinyl. Now, for some reason, it gave me a little bit of an issue. You might wanna set a, a um, thicker setting to cut. As you can see around the edges, a little bit of a, um, uh, a rough go for the first time, but the ink quality looks great. The vinyl itself looks beautiful and our ghosts look nice and happy. Thanks for watching. Check us out at royalelements.com and I will see you in the next video.